Co-housing, or community by design, is a way of life that is becoming popular with increasing numbers of people in the UK. I'm visiting the Threshold Centre near Gillingham, Dorset, to find out more. Ros Dunwell often felt isolated in her local community, but since joining Threshold three months ago, all that has changed. You're part of a group, but you have your own home, and you can join in when you want to. And you can not if you don't want to. Well, I've really enjoyed being here. I've had more company in three months than I've had in about seven years before that. The group are united by their interest in sustainability. Over seven years, they've installed solar panels, rainwater butts, and planted a vegetable garden, which provides ingredients for communal meals. But life as a group can have its annoyances. It is hard enough trying to make decisions I think if you're man and wife but try being with 17, 18, 19, you know we're not always all here. Co-housing enthusiasts believe they're setting an example for the rest of society, a cooperative, efficient and more harmonious way of living. Andrew Pring, threshold resident of three years, believes the co-housing model should be seen as a blueprint for future social housing. People don't think about it, they just accept the way of life that we have now as being normal. It is very abnormal. Um, if you, uh, 100 years ago, 200 years ago, you would be born into community. Now it's that uh, society is so fragmented and so organised that that natural cohesion of community is gone and the relationship with land, that relationship with homes, um, is lost. There may be a lot of hard work and responsibility involved. But people in co-housing communities across the country say the fruits of their labour are worth the effort.